Earlier this month, 10 incoming freshmen at Washington University in St. Louis went to IHOP for dinner. They ordered, they ate, they paid their check, and they were heading back to campus when a police car showed up blocking them at the crosswalk. Then another squad car, then another squad car. They were wrongly accused of dining and dashing. But the story does not stop there. One of the accused students, Teddy Washington, joins us now along with his parents, Theo and Denise Washington, to tell us the rest of the story. Teddy and Mr. and Mrs. Washington, thank you so much for being here. Teddy, tell us about that night. So you and your fellow incoming freshmen, you all ate at IHOP, you were heading back to campus, and you're, you, were, you are all black. I think this is an important yeah, part are. of we the were. story. You were blocked at the crosswalk, one squad yes. car, then another, then another. And what do police say to you when they stop you? Uh, so the, the first officer to get out of the car, uh, he just told us of the situation. They said they, they had an, a, a call of uh, five people running out of a IHOP, and they dined in Dash. Afterwards, he asked us if we'd come from IHOP, which we said yes. Uh, right after that, he asked us if we had any receipts or any proof of purchase, and and uh, to make just to make sure that we paid. So that was the the first interaction. Yeah, and by the way, some of you did have your receipts on you, which is impressive. Okay, I'm not sure I keep my IHOP <laughs> receipts all the time. All right, but I mean, yeah. herein lies the difference, right? So some of you had receipts, but that wasn't enough, and they marched you back to the IHOP with squad cars following you. And then what happens when you get to the IHOP? So as, as soon as we got to the IHOP, the manager, he looked disgusted. So right, at, it, it didn't even take him 10 seconds. As soon as he looked at the group of 10 of us, he said, yeah, you guys definitely have the wrong group. But then what did the police do? So, so the manager exonerated you. You had your uh, receipts. And then what did the police do? So a after that, it was pretty quick. Um, there are two officers there. The, the one, one of them came out of the IHOP. He, uh, he said, yeah, you guys are the wrong group. He gave us our receipts back. And then the uh, officer that approached us at the beginning was already in his car. And then he, he drove off and he said, uh, thanks for your cooperation. And that was the end of the night for us. OK, that's good, because I thought that the police were skeptical at first. The, um, most of it was just in the first interaction, right when he stopped us. They really didn't show any, uh, any movement after we said that we didn't, that we weren't the Dine and Dash people. Meaning they, they were skeptical of all of you, despite the fact that you had your receipts. They weren't believing yes, you. Yes, yes. No, oh. not at all. OK. And so, Teddy, what are you left with? I mean, what has this experience taught you? Or, or what lesson or message do you take away from this? Um, it it kind of brought me to a realization that uh, I've, I've studied, um, I guess, racism uh, in, for the past few years, I guess, since, since the beginning of high school. And it kind of brought a uh, situation to where I am a lot more present and aware of the, uh, the presence of racism in our society. I also think that ha it happening in St. Louis kind of, it didn't surprise me as far as the history of St. Louis. But I think at this moment, I know that as far as like I'm on CNN now, so I, I know I have a voice and I can make some change. So my, uh, my next move is to just do what I can to kind of, to I guess, make the world a better place to live in. And I think this is a good start. I think so too. I mean, that's a nice silver lining. You're obviously taking the most positive approach after this, but is it your sense and was it your friend's sense that this would not have happened if it had been 10 white kids leaving IHOP? Uh, in, in my opinion, I, don't, I really don't think so. Um, for the, the description was five black males, one of them wearing a red t-shirt, so it leaves a really large pool for uh, the police to kind of pull over any African American males they see, even though we had, there was a mixed group of there's a, the group was mixed gender, so if there were, I guess, white kids walking around, I don't think, I don't think they would have been, um, I guess, approached in the same sense. It seemed like they approached us as if we were the, the culprits of the crime. I also think in my response, I don't know, as far as legally, my rights, I could have said no, and I could have tried to go back to the Metrolink and took the train home, but as far as my response, I think that's the difference between how, uh, uh, I guess, a white kid and a black kid would respond. In my opinion, I don't know if I could have responded in the same way. You uh, couldn't have said no. You had to be uber polite. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, exactly. So, Mrs. Washington, what are the conversations that you and your husband or that you and your son or all of you have after something like this happens? Um, you know, I think most importantly, it was some of the conversations we had before. So I was really thankful that Teddy um, had listened to us over the years. You know, we try not to 
necessarily be alarmists, but we've always encouraged him, you know, if you have these types of interactions that it's really important to be calm about them. I'd say on the back end of this situation, um, at least me personally, I've really worked to be, uh, just, just have an open ear for him. Um, and I, just being really thankful how things turned out. They, you, you hear of them turning out worse, so I'm really thankful that it turned out the way it did. But I haven't talked in great detail because I didn't really want to feel like I was re-traumatizing him. So mu mu much of what I've heard about the incident, I've heard when he's been talking to um, others and doing interviews of this sort. Um, but I'm very thankful he listened to us uh, beforehand and proactively. Yeah, here's the police chief's statement about what happened. Uh, he says, we have to respond. That's the duty we have to the business and to the citizens. But beyond that, how would you determine whether or not any of the males had been involved if you didn't approach them and make that inquiry? I feel like some of the young students probably felt uncomfortable by this situation. That certainly isn't our intent. And that's why I attempted to reach out to meet with them. We want to make sure people who come here not only feel safe and secure, but know they are welcome to be here. So I know that in a few hours from now, Teddy, you're going to meet with them. What's your message to the yeah. police? Um, I, I, what I plan to stress in the meeting, I think there was a mistake. Um, for you to have a description of five African-American males and pull a group of 10 kids over, I think even though it was at night, this is around 12 o'clock, but at the same time, if this wasn't broad daylight, I don't think they have, they're within reason to pull over the first people that they see, no matter, no matter the, skin, the color of their skin. Mr. Washington, we're, we're basically out of time, but what do you take away from all of this? I'm trying to make a positive of the situation to make sure that we get something that, we, it's, that this mistake doesn't, doesn't keep happening to um, black and brown youth. And I know that you all also wanted to make the very quick point at the end here. You're pro-police. You have police officers oh, in your family. Absolutely. You believe in police officers. You support police officers. And so when something like this unfortunately happens, uh, you don't want to leave the impression that in any way that you're anti-police. It's quite the opposite. Well, um, guys, we look forward to hearing what happens at the police station today. Thank you very much for your message absolutely. and for being Thank with you. us. Thanks Thank so you. much.